Alright, hey guys, William Congreve here. I'm back for more of my Let's Play series. Um, I would like to also explain to you what was wrong with the audio in the last video. It turns out I was using my webcam to record that. And my webcam is nowhere near as good as a headset mic, which was sitting uselessly on top of my skull. Supported by some flash in between. But that's besides the point, because now I have an actual good working mic, and I'm ready to do more of this Let's Play. Um, and what that will probably entail is me making a bucket now so that I can go get some water for my farm. And there we go. At least I don't have to go far for water. I think I'll turn my sound down just a bit to make sure that you guys can still hear me over my own microphone. No, not over my own microphone, over Minecraft. So, there we go. Huh, there's snow on the ground. Going for my second bucket of water. I wonder if I can just make the jump. Make the jump, make the jump, make the jump! I didn't make the jump. So, I am working on my farm. It's going to mean that I don't have to keep slaughtering helpless pigs. Alright. And now, through the miracle that is the Minecraft physics engine, I will turn two buckets of water into infinite buckets of water. It's amazing. Um, right. So now I guess I'm gonna just keep digging these rows. And yes, I know that it would get irrigated even up to four rows away, but I don't really need that much food, so I guess I'll um, I'll make the rows too wide at least, so that I'll make the rows wide enough so they have water on one side of them, but not on both. I've read the Minecraft wikis and I've watched the Seth Bling videos about farming but it still completely baffles me how you're actually meant to do it. I just... I'm lost. Ha! I did the spin jump. I'm awesome. And yes, I know I'm not filling these things up maximally efficiently, but that's because rather than wasting time figure rather than taking the time to figure out what maximally efficiently would be, I've instead decided just to go with what works and if it's not maximally efficient, it's not maximally efficient. But at least I've actually um you know, filled the farm with water. back up into my house. Let's see, so 
Right now all I'm doing is waiting for the crops to go with regard to the farm because I can't put down more crops until those crops have grown and given me some seeds because the taiga isn't a place where I find a lot of grass and besides just watching me cut down grass would be even more boring than watching me play Minecraft. So maybe I'll go chop down some trees. I was feeling like a second floor might be a good thing anyways. Um, gonna make myself two more pickaxes. There we go. This is nice, the greenhouse here. I just complimented myself. And that's because none of you are in the comments. I see I'm sticking with the trend of insulting my viewers. Okay. Oh. Yes, great. Why not have night come just as I start to chop down these trees? That could in no way at all be inconvenient. Why would that possibly irritate me? Well, that's because it doesn't. I'm going to work during the night. This is bad idea number one. I am hoping there isn't a number two. Wow, it's so much faster with a stone pickaxe with a stone axe than it would be just by hand. I mean, you don't really appreciate it until you actually just see how quickly you're cutting through trees compared to how you used to. Trees, 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 trees. Because I'm sure some of you didn't know that these were trees. Then again, it's dark enough for you not to know. Let me check that I'm not on. I'm on Moody. Yay! Now we can all see. There we go. Um, I put down one too many of those, but who cares, because now I have quite a bit of wood, and I can probably build myself a second floor with all this wood. Emphasis on the probably. Actually, there's not really probability involved in this, because, I mean, I already know what the second floor is going to look like, So, but I suppose I can build a set I certainly can build a second floor with this wood just and make it a tiny second floor. The question is whether I can build the sort of second floor that I want to build with this wood. And I think that I can, but I know that it that probability doesn't affect whether I can or not. I either can or I cannot. Do or do not, there is no try. Um, right. You know what, I'll actually take those axes, because they might be useful during construction. Um, I'm out of torches again. Eh, yeah, I don't really need to grab more torches right now. Um, hang on. 1, uh, 14, 13. No, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. I don't need these torches in the middle. Just calculating the light levels there. Okay, so um, I think I'll start by crafting myself some more um, ladders. That's what I'm looking for, ladders. Those are the sticks I need for the ladders. I arranged those sticks for the ladders incorrectly. And now I'm paying the price. Then I'm going to remove my bed. Because I'm going to make my first floor kind of like 
uh, public, like recreational, yeah, public, because I'm the only person in the world, and yet I still care about whether or not my first floor is public or private. Um, but a more sort of public place where I can go to, like, sit around and things, and then the second floor is going to be more private, and it's going to have things like my bedroom and stuff. That was my door there. I, I have quite a nice door. Not in Minecraft, in the real world. It's the door to my office. Yep. Because I don't quite have enough subscribers to have the budget for an entirely new office for myself yet. I, I'm getting there. I, I can dream. That doesn't mean that you don't need to subscribe, though. Subscribe. Subscribe, and um, I... I think you should subscribe. Go, do it. Oof. A one, a two, a one, two. Jump! Hey, grass is starting to grow on these things. That's nice. <laughs> and up here where it's colder, it's this greenish grass. But then as you get down into that valley, it turns that color. That's so cool. Okay, um, right, now to actually build that second floor. One, two, hmm, three high or two high? Let's go with four high and move that entire floor up a bit, because, I mean, I've all, I'm, I was a bit disconcerted by how low that floor was already, I, and I just had it low because of the need for wood, but now that I can... Now that I can make it higher, I will make it higher. That's my motivation for every single action. I can. It, it doesn't stand up well in court, though. Because I can. That's why I did it, Your Honor. Because I can. Someday that clip is going to come back and haunt me. Somebody's like going to play that audio clip during my murder trial. N not that I'm going to murder anybody, um, but I'm going to be tried for it wrongfully. Let's go with that. Now those trees down there have a very brief window to grow into real trees while I'm doing this. I hope they don't. Actually, I'm not sure if they do. Um, I should probably read the Minecraft wiki before I make a conjecture like that. I think that their leaves don't affect where they can grow, but I'm not completely certain. I forgot to keep track of time during this Let's Play. Um, let me try and think about what time it is. Let's see, so I had a bit of a day, then this night, I think. I think it's just been, like... So when this night is over, it'll be like ten minutes, so... I'm not much of the way into this Let's Play yet. So let's see, three high, and then a roof. Wonderful. There we go. One ring done. On to the second ring. Oof. Let go of shift to rub my head. Paid the price. The reason I wanted to rub my head is this headset mic. I've yet to find a headset mic which is actually light enough that it doesn't somewhat press down on my head and and because of that, it's, the, it necessitates a small headache the entire time I'm recording. 
See that? Uh, I'm in pain for you. Subscribe! Um, but, yeah. I would say something along the lines of, you don't actually need to subscribe. It doesn't match to me either way. But, really, I don't have enough viewers to say that. I, I do want subscriptions. Okay, um... Almost got the second floor done. My building is already almost higher than anything else around. Actually, it's not. I think I'd need maybe two or three more floors before I got there. But it's higher than most things around. I wonder if I should just make it into a gigantic skyscraper with, say, different things on each floor. Such, for example, I'd have, say, farms on one floor and a bedroom on another and storage on another and things like that. That might be kind of cool. I've done that a lot, though. They always turn out that way. Kind of cool. Huh. Just enough spruce wood. I'll take that. I'll put this all back. Actually, I probably want those torches. And um, I'll take my bed in the trap door. I'll take those so that I can just do a little decorating in there. Great. Um, oh, wait, yeah. This fell out of there. Don't know why that popped out. I bet there is an explanation, though. Well, there has to be an explanation. It's a computer program. There's an explanation for everything. Except for Hero Brian. Speaking of Hero Brian, I, I am actually excited about doing a Let's Play a video with Hero Brian in it because I think it'll be fun. I think I'll probably, once the mod comes out for 1.6.2 and I can actually download it, I think I'll probably just switch over this Let's Play world by just putting a Hero Brian totem in it and. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, so this side is a bit darker anyways there, so let's go one, two, three, four, five. So that's four on this side and five on this side, yep. Okay. Um, and then the furthest point away from me, either torch will be that spot there. And then, um, I uh, can't do three dimensional geometry in my head. Um, let's see 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Okay, yeah, so that's bound to be more than a light level of 7 because it's. If I. The shortest point, the shortest uh, distance between two points is a straight line, and because I can find a distance which isn't a straight line between the two points, which is seven, then I know that the shortest distance has to be more than seven. It's a bedroom. I need some awesome stuff in my bedroom. Let's see, I'm thinking. A grand bay window along this wall. You can't tell it, but I'm like leaning back in my chair and moving my hands to be like a grand bay window along this wall. And then over here, maybe I'll have a desk over here. I'll have my bed here, maybe a bookcase for a nightstand or something. So I'm moving the mic close to my mouth so that you can hear me better. Um, and then, let's see. Maybe over here I'll have bookshelves. I don't know. See, that's the sort of thing that people usually only do with their bedrooms when they're in creative. But me, I understand that it doesn't actually take that much effort to do it in survival. As long as you don't set your hopes too high about what you're going to get out of it. So, I just go for it in survival. Oh. Heart skipped a beat there. I thought I heard a hiss of a creeper when I walked out the door, and I was about to lose the front half of my house. In retrospect, I probably should have run if I should have 
ran if I'd had the kiss of a creeper, because that, because if I'd run, maybe it would have defused, uh, because I'd run far enough away. But I don't know. Still don't have iron armor, or uh, and I don't have cows, so I can't have leather armor. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm getting wood, it's because I'm working on my bedroom right now. Not like in a future let's play, like right now. And what I'm doing is um, getting wood for... Um, getting wood for... Um, and what I'm doing is getting wood so that I can build things like sofas in there. Okay. There's all of that stuff. Mm. I think I'll have on this side of my bed a crafting table. And then on this side of my bed I'll have a chest for my precious items. And then, um,. Let's get some. Let's get a sofa here. Um, where do I want to put the sofa? I could, you know, I could make this entire side of the house a window, and yeah, that would be awesome. So let's see. I'll have a sofa there for looking out the window from, and then I'll have my desk here by the window with, like, a nice chair that I can lounge in at my desk. Lots of legroom, so I'll put my desk, like... Actually, no. Rather than have legroom, I'd rather have a big desk. So I'll have my desk like that. Hmm. Um... Maybe I'll chop this part off my desk. I'll see how it looks both ways. Actually, this is more of a table than a desk, I think. Yeah, that's a nice table. And I can, like, eat my breakfast here looking out the window. Looking out the uh, magnificent bay window, which will be 1, 2, 3, by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I need 30 blocks of glass. 18 plus 13, that will be enough. But I need something to smelt them with, so where's my pickaxe? Huh, where is my pickaxe? I assumed it was going to be in that chest. Oh well, I'll just make myself some more. Um, losing track of time again. Let's see, it's daytime, so I've had a complete night and a complete day. So come night time, I'll probably end this Let's Play. There we go. If I wanted maximum efficiency, I should be making these things into blocks of coal. Jump to the tree! Wow. Now you know exactly how bad I am at parkour. Speaking of parkour, um, I'm going to try to see my friend Sam this weekend. We'll probably do some Minecraft maps together if I can convince him to. So, um, let's hear some comments about what maps we should do. Um, like parkour maps, adventure maps, puzzle maps, um, race maps, combat maps. Should we do something with a whole, on a, like a server, like do a Hunger Games or something? Um, right, so, uh, where's my house? Oh, there it is, good. Got a bit turned around in those caves. Oof, I need some feather falling boots. And for that, I need to either steal from a village or get myself some diamonds. Now I need the diamonds regardless for the enchanting table. 
Oh, but my statement actually holds true because I suppose I could find uh, a book of feather folding in a bit. I could, well, that wouldn't be stealing though, because I'd find it. Because I'd, I wouldn't find it. I'd buy it. Hey, my wheat's growing. I'll grab my hoe and harvest that. So, here I am back up in my house, still not burned down despite the whole bunch of torches and the furnace in the wooden house. I'm gonna put another piece of glass in this chest because I only need so many of them. Toss this coal in there. And, um, really only need my axes now. Speaking of axes, let's talk about axes for a minute. Axes are actually pretty good combat weapons. I mean, most people who would think, like, here, you can use a sword or an axe, which will you take? And they'd take the sword, but really, I mean, for somebody who's never fought before, it, going with the axe is probably the better bet, because with the sword, it, ta it takes actually training to use it effectively. You have to learn how to parry with one side, cut with the other, make sure that you don't blunt it, whereas with an axe you just swing and you're usually going to hurt something. I, I should be a spokesperson for an axe company. No, not like the deodorant, like the weapon. Okay, now it's time to see if my math was correct. Oh, it was. And I've got a beautiful view of the sunset. That's just... that's awesome. Now, I'm um, gonna uh, go and grab myself some more torches to make sure that this place stays monster-free. Um, uh, what am I doing? Oh yes, torches. And for that I'll need sticks. One, two, three, four. and craft those into some torches and I'll head back upstairs um, and I'll head back up ladder I guess ladders somehow I'll head back up ladders doesn't have the same ring to it as I'll head back upstairs I'm not actually using any of this stuff in my house, like I'm not sitting down here to write essays and I'm not sitting here and looking out over my uh, wheat fields, but it makes the place just feel nicer and like, feel like the sort of place that you enjoy being in. Um, let's see, I think I'm kind of just liking the empty spaceness here. Maybe I'll put something up against this wall, maybe I'll toss in some windows and something, but I, I like this bedroom just for its emptiness. So I think I'll sleep so that my spawn point is saved, and I'll end that le the Let's Play while I'm sleeping. So like and subscribe, check out my friend's channel, Nerf Mods by Kronos, link in the description and in the video, which is coming up now. Whoops, um, I, I just hit the wrong button. Uh, which screen encoder program am I using? That's right, I'm using Snagit. Okay. So, let's try a second take of that. Besides, I've Already overused, I've already used that outro, so instead I'm going to try a completely new outro, which I'm going to do on the fly. Um, do not like and subscribe, because I hate you, and you sh are undeserving of watching this channel, so stop watching right away, and stay away from my friend's channel, Nerf Mods by Kronos. Do not even look at the link in the description or in the video that is starting now. Mm -hmm.